Okay, so we got a light cone preview. Um, these are going to be new free four star light cones that are going to be in the uh, the uh, stores for um, Memory of Chaos. So let's see which ones we got here and see if they're good. All right, so first light cone we got is a destruction light cone, and it states when the cumulative HP loss of the wearer during a single attack exceeds 25% of their max HP, or if the amount of their own HP consumed at one time is greater than 25% of their max HP, immediately heals the wearer for 15% of their max HP. At the same time, increases the damage they deal by 25%, lasting for two turns. This effect can only be triggered once every three turns. Okay, that's probably not bad. Namely for characters like uh, Jing Liu and and Blade. This actually doesn't sound like a bad, bad uh, light cone. It lasts for two turns, but it can be triggered once every three turns. So I'm assuming there's only going to be one turn where you don't have the effect. And if that's the case, this actually... It seems like a decent, decent light cone. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely not bad. Alright, uh, next one we got is a Hunt light cone. It says increases the wearer's attack by 12%. When the wearer lands a crit hit on enemies, gains a stack of good fortune. Uh, stacking up to four times, every stack of good fortune, the wearer has increased uh, their crit damage by 8%. Ooh. Good fortune will be removed at the end of wearer's turn. Okay, that sounds pretty damn good. Actually, you could probably, if you have copies of this, you could get a shit ton of crit damage. Yeah, that does, that does sound pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if this would actually be... Because this, this is going to be good for characters that have multi-hits. So, for example, who's a good example... Ying Ching, his attacks hit multiple times. I do believe. I don't have them, so I could be wrong. Uh, or Zilla, her skill, I do believe, is like three hits. So now I'm trying to think of um, Dr. Ratio. I'm pretty sure his basic attack and his skill is only one hit. I could be wrong. I might be messing up. How this works but i'm assuming assuming how many times the attack hits is where you get the buffs so like every crit hit right so it definitely would be good on aoe characters i do i think dr ratio's follow-up attack is basically aoe so that could work i don't know uh but it does seem like a really good uh light cone so that's really good um this next one we have air edition Increases the wearer's attack by 16% when the wearer uses an attack and at least two attacked enemies have the corresponding weakness. The wearer's crit damage increases by 20% for two turns. Um, I don't know. This seems alright. There's a lot of requirements and specifications for it to work. It seems decent. It might not be bad in practice, but... It, it this seems decent all right next up is a harmony lycone after the wearer uses either their basic attack skill or ultimate all allies gain childishness which increases allies damage from the same ability type as the one used by the wearer by 12 percent um childishness only takes effect for the most recent ability type that the wearer used and cannot be stacked okay huh I'm going to be honest, this is pretty unique, but it's for a buffing character, so you'll probably be using, like, the skill once for, like, three turns. So after you use the skill in one turn, the characters will have to use a skill also. And then if you just use basic attacks, that uh, uh, you got that too. So what I'm thinking, Sparkle... I don't know exactly what Sparkle does. I don't know if she gains or gives skill points with her skill or whatever. But either way, she'll get skill points 
to the entire team and you have a lot of skill points so i'm assuming if you have a character like uh imbibit or lune and you're just uh well no because then you're using your skill to enhance the basic attack i don't know this one's weird i'm not sure if i like this one or not i was gonna say that if you have sparkle with like basic attack using characters it'll be pretty good so maybe maybe this with sparkle and a blade i i don't know because i'm assuming you know sparkle uses her skill once and then that lasts is lasts for a while so then you could just use her to basic attack and then blade to basic attack i don't know it might be okay next one is a nihility nihility like him when the wearer inflicts a debuff on an enemy gains a stack of trick every stack of trick increases the wearer's damage dealt by six percent stacking up to three times okay this effect lasts for one turn when the wearer's effect hit rate is 80 percent or higher increases attack by 20 percent this seems like it'll be pretty good i like the idea of this um next one is a preservation like on increases the wearer's effect resistance by 12 percent for every 100 defense the wearer has, increases the wearer's damage dealt by 0.8% up to a maximum of 32%. Um, literally the only character I could see this being good on is Fire MC. It might not be bad on uh, Bushwan, but I'm mainly thinking that Fire MC is the best one to use this. Um, next one is an Abundance. Increases the wearer's break effect. By 24% break effect. That's weird. After using their basic attack, restore HP for the wear by an amount equal to two point or two percent of their max HP plus a hundred. That's an interesting break effect. I guess if you have a break effect build on abundance characters, but is this implying that uh Galahad Ga Gallagher? Whatever his name is, is going to be a break effect healer. Is that what this is implying? Because this is the dude right here. And he's abundance. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? If that's the case, this is a good like him. Okay, so out of all of these, which do I think are the best ones? Um, I do think the destruction one is really good. But only for forging Liu and blade is where i could see this being the most useful um the hunt one is also pretty good if it works exactly how i think it does this will be a really really good one um the air edition one is kind of eh harmony is also kind of eh nihility probably will be pretty decent uh, preservation one literally for only fire mc is what i'm in my opinion, is who this is going to be re really useful on. Otherwise, it's kind of eh. And the Abundance one is kind of eh. Unless you have a break effect build on healers. Or if the, the new Abundance guy coming out soon is a break effect healer. So, Nihility and the Hunt and Destruction ones are probably the best ones to be going for here. Now, I would, I personally would like to go further and compare to other Lycones, but I'll be honest, I don't remember shit about the other Lycones, okay? Yeah, I definitely recommend those three. All the other ones are kind of eh. I'm going to have to use them in practice to see if they're good. But, yeah, definitely Destruction, Hunt, and Nihility are the best ones. I wish the Air Edition one was better. It might be in practice, but... I'm not sure. But yeah, um, these look pretty cool. We'll get these tomorrow. This is when the, uh, uh, tomorrow is when the Pentacone update is live. There is a pre-install right now. So if you guys haven't done that yet, be sure to do it. All right. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.